G'day and welcome to another video with Better Peaks. Hope this finds you all well. Today's video we're looking at the new selection tool within Photoshop or more specifically Photoshop Beta. So the new tool is only currently available within the beta version so you'll need to be sure to download that first so that you can have access with it and have a play. Okay, let's head over to our Creative Cloud desktop and you can see I've already got Photoshop Beta installed uh, but you would normally see an install button there and you just need to click it, download it and then we are good to go. Okay, so I have the new Photoshop Beta installed and open. So what we're going to do is head over to Bridge and we're going to select an image. Now this is a raw image. It was shot with a uh, old Fuji camera, an X-T2 from memory. And we're just going to click and drag that directly into Photoshop. And by default, it will open up, being a digital negative or a raw file, uh, it will open up a Adobe Camera Raw. We're going to simply open that image as an object into Photoshop. And you can see we have that available now. Now it's worth mentioning uh, that I haven't done any edits to this image in the raw conversion process. This is straight out of camera. So to make sure that the new selection options are available for you to use within Photoshop Beta, you just need to go to Edit, Preferences, Image Processing. And within Image Processing, you select Subject and Removal of Background is under the cloud, so detailed results. Now, in order to access this tool, you don't need to change this in your preferences, but it just means that it's there by default. So just make sure that cloud detailed results is selected and you're good to go. All right, so what we're gonna do is go to our object selection tool and we're gonna select subject and just to confirm we are by default on the cloud detailed results. And we're gonna hit select subject down here on the taskbar. So I'm not speeding anything up here. We are watching it in real time, just to give you an estimate of uh, how long that takes. And you can see it's done a pretty good job uh, with that selection. So if we zoom in, this image is very, very detailed. It hasn't selected everything, which is really interesting, but it has done an exceptionally good job. You can see that there's some poles down there at the end of this jetty and sections of the jetty feet that haven't been selected, as well as little sections of the, the sky that have been kept within the selection, which isn't the perfect result that we'd be looking for. Now it is pretty good. That barbed wire fence up on top of the jetty here as well also hasn't been selected. So, and I mean, keeping in mind that that is a pretty detailed expectation. Uh, but, you know, if we're going to look at a tool, it's definitely worth looking at the full capacity of what it can and can't do. All right. So what we're going to do is just hit Control D. That's going to deselect everything. I'm going to zoom out to the full image. And we're going to swap that over to Device, uh, which as the name suggests, it will give us quicker results. But we would expect it would be less detailed. All right. Let's have a look at that. Okay, that is a massive difference. You can see from this section backwards, the majority of the uh, pylons that this jetty is resting on have not been selected. The entire back half of the jetty also hasn't been selected. And many of the sections that were in the original selection just aren't included. So it really isn't doing anywhere near as good a job. So while the detailed results, which we're just going to have a look at again, are definitely not at 100% uh, accurate just yet, they're still infinitely better than uh, than the other option which obviously takes less time but the selection is not anywhere near as good. So that's a really interesting outcome. The selection tool like many new tools within Photoshop particularly within the AI space uh, are definitely really really good. They're not 100% but we can see the progression of those tools getting better, stronger and more accurate. So what we're going to do is jump over to Adobe Photoshop 2025, which is the current full version of Photoshop. And we're just going to have a look at what the selection uh, tools are like within that version. All right, we're going to go back to the same image. Once again, uh, there's been no edits or changes made to that image. We're just going to drag that and drop it into Photoshop. By default, it will go through the Adobe Camera Raw uh, option because it's a raw file. We're going to open that object exactly the same process that we employed last time. So we're going to go up to the contextual taskbar where it has select subject. We're going to click on that one. Again, this is all in real time. And again, you can see that uh, that selection any, isn't anywhere near as good as the uh, optimum version within the new Photoshop beta. So we can once again see most of those pylons haven't been selected. There's sections of the jetty that haven't been selected and less of that barbed wire and mesh fence that's been selected as well. We can also see that there hasn't been any selection between these uh, railings with the sky in the background there. And uh, in fact, a whole section and one pole of the jetty up on the right hand side there also hasn't been selected. But again, uh, if we have a look at the uh, Photoshop beta version at the moment, we can see that that selection option is just exceptionally good. Once again, we're just going to grab that image, drop it into the Photoshop beta. 
Up comes Adobe Camera Raw. We're going to open that as a smart object. This is a normal part of my workflow, uh, just giving us flexibility to go back into Adobe Camera Raw if we need to. And again, we're going to hit Select Subject. Now remember that I've turned on the, uh, the new um, tools by default, so uh, we don't need to select the uh, cloud, which is the more detailed result. And again, you can see that the, the amount of detail, while not perfect, is certainly better, uh, significantly better than what we have been using previously. So look, exciting times ahead. As I've mentioned uh, on this video and previous videos, it's certainly not 100% perfect, but it is improving it every single time a new version of these tools come out. So download the Photoshop. So if you wanna have a go at these new tools, make sure you download the uh, beta version of Photoshop. Uh, make sure that it's turned on in your defaults or be sure that when you are making selections that you're selecting the cloud uh, detailed results so that you can see the full power uh, of this uh, tool and the refinement that we're seeing. Thanks very much for stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And as always, any questions are welcome in the comments below. We look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.